Howdy, Beefler Bart here, and welcome back. And we're just knocking out videos uh, this late evening, early morning. And this one, we need some more functionality. We need things to happen. And let's go over quickly what we've got so far in our main menu. When we first play the game, and I'm going to go ahead and run this in standalone mode. So, we first go into the game, and you know, we'll wait for it to load. We've got a very simple main menu system set up to where we initially launch our game, the player goes to a main menu, and, well, so far we only have single player, and that's it. So, we got some background music playing, we've got two simple buttons, we've got the Techno Axe logo, because that's where we got our music from. And we can go ahead and click on single player. And there we go. We got a map. We can run around. We got a little bit of background sound going on. We've got our pain panel right here. It's got a little smoke coming off of it, so we know what it is. You run over it, you get an explosion and a sound, and it reduces your health by 25. So we're going to need some way of getting our health back up. Um, you see our health bar is uh, the red, the blue is our thirst, and the green is our hunger. And all three of these bars do work, and this is just a temporary uh, player HUD, but we just want to have some functionality first before we start getting pretty. So we also have an escape menu where we can hit resume game and just keep on playing, or we can go ahead and go back to the main menu and then exit the game if we so fit we bleh, bleh, words um, if we yeah feel like it screw it anyway so what I'd like to do is create some kind of way of regenerating our health our hunger and our thirst well don't have any fancy models in here yet that would symbolize the fact that this is a med kit or this is a, a whatever a, a piece of food or a drink or what have you uh, what do we have at our starter content architecture eh, it's not really going to help us much um, props well not really um, what about our shapes Well, we're just going to have to make do. Um, I guess for now, what we can end up doing is we can use a cube, and we'll just use that for our first aid kit. We'll worry about textures and, and updating things later when we start importing some assets. Um, for right now, we're sticking with free stuff, but... I will be adding in some asset packs that uh, I've got from the marketplace that are well worth looking into, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So to start off with, and we're going into our assets, and yep, you guessed it, we're going to make a new folder. We're going to call this Pickups, or we can try to spell and pick ups go into that folder and the first one we want to create is naturally going to be a blueprint and an actor and we're going to call this the medkit now it's not going to be fancy but it is going to be functional and again we can go ahead and start off by adding a component and we're going to add a cube isn't that lovely looks just like a med kit. Uh, we can scale it down just a little bit. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't have to be phenomenal. It just has to be functional. Now let's get that at 0.5. And 
There we go. That's our med kit. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? So, well, let's just go ahead and give it a different material so we can recognize it from anything else. We don't really have a good material for it yet, but we'll just pick something to start off with. Well, let's go ahead and just put that on there. Just something to stand out. It pulses. Eh, whatever. Again, we'll worry about textures and making things pretty later on. We just want some functionality. And we'll go ahead and compile, save, and we need to go ahead and add another component. And we need a box collision. And we need to... Scale it up to where it's is usable. And again, it doesn't have to be completely perfect. And just make sure that we can walk over to it and do something with it. I'm not even worried about collision. You know, we could try to make it even more fancy. Let's make it float in the air. A little bit. I want the collision box to actually still do its thing, and we could add a um, component to it. You know, if we wanted to add something onto it, like it could glow or have a, a light fixed to it, so that it, it's illuminated and you can see that it's a. Uh, we could add a point light in. So you could see, hey, they, there's something there, and we could add a, a red light around it so people could see that it's a, a med kit. In this particular case, it's um, already um, there. It's going to be pulsating. Um, probably going to screw this up on the first couple tries because I haven't used this very often. However, what it is is a rotating movement. You can actually make the object itself rotate um, rotation rate I'm actually going to go ahead and place it out and see what it looks like and we're going to play in the selected viewport there we go we got a nice little rotating thing. Well, that's fun. Well, that'll make you dizzy. Never had that happen before, but okay. Um, but with the make it on our collision box, let's go ahead and set up our on component begin overlap. And we're going to skip all the rest of the stuff here. We're going to we're going to cast, cast to the player base. Connect the object to other actor. Well, it's going to be temporary. We're going to have to come back in and change this later. But again, we just wanted something that was functional for now. Um, we're going to run into problems whenever this begins to become multiplayer so that it only affects the person who's actually standing on it but we need to and this is going to look confusing we want to destroy the actor um, the target's going to remain self we're not going to destroy the player we're going to destroy the, the thing that we're walking into but as the player base, though, we're going to actually get our health. And we need to set our health. And what we're going to do is float plus float. And we want to give us... 25 health back. Sounds lovely, right? Since our pain panel is going to take away 25, this will add 25. Now, it's going to work for the most part. 
as we walk into it, it disappears. But you notice that it, um, it just went away anyway. Didn't matter that um, we didn't have the, the need for it. So we're going to reduce some of our health, and then we're going to regain it by walking over it. Okay. That's fine, but as we noticed, if we didn't need it and we walked over it, it still vanished. So we want to make it to where it's not going to vanish. Um, I was just going to see if there was anything that... Um, on collision for that because like I said that gets a little on the dizzying side if you're walking by and you get onto it and it actually starts spinning you around but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it um, so what we want to do is we can move this stuff over we want to run a branch and we want to get our health again so we get our health then we want to find out if we are less than or equal to huh. we're less than 100 It'll let us get it. Now it's not going to let us go past the um, the point of 100 anyway because of the rest of the systems we have up. But it's going to check to see if our health is less than 100, then increase our health by 25. And this is one way of doing it. So we'll control, uh, compile, save. We'll go in here and still vanished. So we need to move our destroy actor here. So at that point, we can go ahead and put it on there as destroy actor. So, we don't want it to go away if we don't need it. So if we don't need this, we can't pick it up. But, if we do need it, we can pick it up. So, that's our first pickup. It's a health pickup, so we can actually get our health back up. And it rotates, which is kind of cool. Um, the only issue that I see here is the fact that uh, there is still collision collision presets no collision let's try that <coughs> compile and save go in here and yep no problem we can walk right through it and it doesn't do anything because we don't need it but as soon as we drop below now we can, and it heals us back. That's awesome. So, what other kind of pickups can we run into? How about, um, you know, we have our, our temporary pain panel. Let's actually create a new version of that. And let's try to duplicate it, and we'll have a thirst panel. And what we're trying to do here is instead of health, let's actually get rid of the health stuff. So we cast a player base. We need to get our thirst. And we need to set our thirst. and we're going to increase it by 20 or decrease it by 25 so it makes us get thirsty when we walk on this alright so we get the explosion cue that's all lovely um, 
Let's get rid of the smoke. Look at the viewport. And as we see, there's a... Um, we need to make it look a little different. So we'll make that one like this so we can tell that it's a thirst panel. A different color. There's no smoke coming off of it. We still get the explosion and sound and, and an emitter. And, yeah. Let's try our thirst panel out and see if it actually works. So we can force ourselves to get thirsty faster. Yep. Okay. And we don't need any health, so it made us get thirsty. So let's actually make us a new pickup. We need a new blueprint. Actor. Soda can and let's add a component now we can add in the cube but we can actually come back over here and change that to shape cylinder let's go ahead and add our component of our box collision and we're going to go ahead and reshape our cube just a little bit. We want it to be something like that. And our collision, we need to go ahead and increase that a little bit. Let's move it up a little higher. We don't need to, to make this revolve because, well, it's just a cylinder anyway. Um, we can actually do the same thing. We can give it a blue look to it so it looks like it's uh, something we can drink. All right, we're going to compile and save. And close that down. And we can close that down. And with our soda can. We're going to go ahead and get rid of all those. And from our collision box, we want to, on component, begin overlap. We want to cast to player base, run this off of other actor. And again, we want to go ahead and We want to get our thirst. And we also want to run a branch. And we want to check to see if our thirst is less than 100. If so, then we can drink. We can take this drink. Um, for now, we're just going to take it and use it. However, later on we want to actually put this into our inventory and let us be able to drink it that way. So, if we can actually access this, then we need to set our thirst to our thirst it's actually run. We don't need to, but we could run a new one. Get our thirst, and we want to do thirst plus, and we'll do 25. Whatever, because we're going to take away 25. We're going to add it back in. Again, all these things will get balanced out and changed later. So then we want to destroy actor. And we want to confirm that our collision is off. No collision. Compile, save, and let's go ahead and 
throw one of these guys out there. And let's see what happens. Gee, now I'm thirsty. And my thirst is fixed. I'm not hurt, so I don't need that, but now I am, and there we go. And you can do the same thing if you want to create uh, a can of food. Then essentially all you have to do is, I'm going to right click, I'm going to duplicate, and can, oh, nah, underscore, can of food. And where we had all our thirst stuff, we can actually get our hunger. And we're going to need it here. And we're going to need to set our hunger. And then we can run that to there, that to there, and that to there here, here, and delete that one, delete that one, delete that one, and make it look a little neater. And let's go ahead and look at our actual cube, which is not a cube, it's actually a can, and let's change whatever texture we can find here. I'm actually going to just give it a brush nickel, whatever, looks good. And that should work. However, we don't have a way of testing it, so we need a hunger palin. That sounds good. Again, temporary stuff. It doesn't really matter all that much. We need to get our hunger. We need to set our hunger. And let's go ahead and replace these out. We don't need you, and we don't need you, so you can go away. Bring this to hell, and bring this to hell, and this quickly has just created, and let's change the color actually, so again we can discern the difference of what it is, and brush nickel, good enough. We can now put our hunger peel in down somewhere. We'll set it here, go to our pickups, drop a can of food, not really that much different. Um, hungry, thirsty, and we just fix that, we fix that, and we can fix that. So now we have hunger, thirst, and health pickups that will serve us well until we can actually get new models to make them look better, better functionality and so forth. There's actually things we can do to make it even more more special and cool. Um, if you want to add in some sound files to like let you know that you just had a power up or a pickup or something of that nature. Um, not a bad thing to do. You know there's a lot of places to get free sound files. You know, some require you to do certain things or, you know, add credit to where you got the sound files from. There's a lot of royalty-free ones out there. You know, it's just a matter of, you know, just finding what you can or making your own. I mean, if you want to hear, if you want to make your own sounds, you've got a microphone, go ahead and make your own sounds. It's not really that difficult to do. They don't have to be outstanding at first. You can always improve them as time goes. But... Let's try to be different. In fact, I actually have a temporary sound that I can throw in here for now to, um, to let us know that we just did something. So now we can actually go back to our pickups, 
go to the can of food. And before the destroy actor, let's go ahead and play sound at location. Again, right now we're not totally worried about the location of the sound. But let's go ahead and add that in there. Compile and save. I'm going to control C on this one. And let's see, med kit. Let's drop it in. Compile, save, and we'll do that on here as well. And we'll test them out really quickly to see if they work. And we'll call it quits on this video. So let's go ahead and hit play. Alright, well, that'll do it for this video. Um, we've created pickups that will adjust our health, our hunger, and our thirst. And we even add some sound effects to them and so forth. Uh, you can add emitters and particle effects or whatever just to say, wow, I just picked up food or wow, I just picked up a med kit or whatever. You can do all these lovely things entirely up to you. But this will get you started on that. And with thank you for watching this video. I want to see you on the next one.